you don't okay. know you don't know how they've been aligned that's the thing um and you know no names uh but all those closed models they they some of them are amazing capabilities some of them i like a little more than others it doesn't matter which ones um but mm -hmm. their creators have decided for you they have curated the data set they have designed the alignment process they have written the prompts the system prompts so if that works for you nice good it'll save you time maybe it stands in the way and maybe maybe sometimes it just becomes extremely stupid and uh and you know we saw that closed model from another company uh generate uh and i'm going to be diplomatic here historically incorrect figures um and uh and it was good fun you know to watch um oh, well, yeah. yeah and it was pretty obvious those were wrong <laughs> but the problem is they the the you know it could be more subtle you know and uh and uh so the, the you know the human element in 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 the, the the devil is in the details right yeah everybody wants to fight bias everybody wants to have you know safe models but if if the if the workforce that aligns the model is not diverse enough you know ironically if all those people think the same then what they are really doing is introducing another bias in the model so it is a complex problem right like the, the you know the road to hell is uh, is paved with good intentions <laughs> so bias risk alignment all those things um they are tricky all right and from one so, country to the next it's also very different hmm? you know yeah the context is different you're right go to singapore you know i was in singapore last year uh go to well i was in dubai last year you know yes. um it's not just you know, again, being diplomatic, trying to. It's not just the West Coast, you know, it's not just the US West Coast, right? Oh my God, maybe maybe some folks on the other side of the ocean thinks diff think differently, okay? Maybe they don't like some of your answers, I'm sorry, okay? Um, and again, I'm not trying to, I, I don't care about being philosophical or political or anything, like I stand as far as possible from that stuff. You know, their country, their culture, their language, their rules right if they don't like the answers from the model guess what they, they won't use it okay men probably they will build their own as they should which will give them better language support so it is what it is like i said it's uh, uh when you travel a lot um you know I, in rome do as the romans do <laughs> right and uh or don't travel <laughs> That's my point. Be be respectful of those uh, of those differences, or just stay home. Oh, and it applies yeah. for AI models too, not just me. <laughs> there's there's a there's an additional question on uh, you know are, are there any differences that you have noticed across the different countries? So yeah, an obvious one is language support. Um, you know, not everybody yeah. speaks English. Not everybody speaks uh, one of the I would say three major languages in the world, and. Um, and, and uh, I'll give you an example. You know, I, when I was in Singapore, um, I met with customers from obviously Singapore and Malaysia and Indonesia, etc. And at some point, I said, "Okay, so how's the Indonesian language support in in the models?" And they were smiling, and I said, "Man, I said something stupid." So, uh, and I said, "Okay, so what did I say something stupid?" And I said, "No, no, really, but when you say Indonesian, I mean, of course, there, there, there is a." a dominant uh, um, uh, um, uh, variant, right? But um, we actually have a hundred uh, variants or in dialects in Indonesia. You know, Indonesia is a big country. And you could say the same for other countries. They have like, look at India, for example, they have, uh, they have many official languages and I'm not going to give numbers because I'm going to get it wrong. Maybe somebody on the chat knows. Um, if you know, I, I was going to say 25, but I, I may be wrong. Um, well, so, right so um so okay i i guess um you know uh, those models those uh big models they can do an okay job at the most important languages but if you're you know if you live in apac or you know if you live in in um, in india if you live elsewhere even eastern europe you know is is, uh, is some some languages are pretty challenging for for those uh 
for those models. If you want to build high quality solutions, you can't really rely on that stuff. So you probably have to go and, and build your own, uh, which is what that Singapore customer was doing. Um, and it's also a project with AWS, by the way, building a regional model. Uh, AI Singapore is the name of the, of the lab. So that's one angle. And then, of course, you have cultural differences. Uh, and I'm not going to give specific examples because the last thing I want is to, to offend anyone here. But mm. in some parts of the world, they told me, hey, uh, ask chat GPT about, um, you know, uh, is our country a, a, a modern democracy? And, uh, and read the answer and ask yourself if we like that answer. Go try, okay. you know, mm -hmm. uh, and well, in some cases they didn't because um, because if you have, you know, they don't want the Western or the U.S. West Coast view on their country. They want their view on their country. All yeah. their culture, all their religion, all their history, right? It is what it is, you know, um, again, you, you don't have to like it. You know, you don't have to agree or disagree. Uh, I mean, Nico, you live in Bahrain, you know, I live in France, and we are certainly folks here living in the US, and hopefully we can agree on many things. But I know we, we or, or those countries disagree on other things. It is what it is, okay? So the, it, it, you need to have models that account for that. And it doesn't matter what, 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 what the chatbot is used for, but if it doesn't, it should sound or read, uh, like like a human expert you would meet in real life uh so if you're uh, if you're in india it should it should feel exactly like an indian doctor or or if you're in uh you know if you're in uh in brazil it should sound like a, a brazilian teacher and and it should be it should be as close to that as possible and um and and not only the tone but also the knowledge and the way it's it's brought forward, et cetera, et cetera. And otherwise you won't get mass adoption and, and the highest quality. So to me, the only way this is going to happen is, is if local users build their models, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, don't, don't, you can't expect, you know, again, us West coast people, and I have nothing against them particularly, right? It's just, they, they don't understand your country and your culture and your, uh, environment as well as you do. So, uh, and that's what I've been telling. To, I met a lot of, uh, uh, you know, officials too, not just uh, C level. I met a, you know, a public sector um, uh, stakeholders too, and that's what I tell them. Um, you you need to own this thing, um, and you can have a partnership with you know tech companies, right? And you probably need to do that to to speed up your uh, your efforts. But uh, you you need to be in charge of uh, of the data and. Uh, and um, and the the evaluation, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and that's that's great. Decentralizing, you know. Um, again, I don't want I don't want three companies in the world building those models. 